Uh, thank you. Hello for having me, and I would like to share uh, some information about the QKD, but basically quantum communication activities that uh, we do in the Giant Network and the Endron community. Please turn him up, please. Okay, now it's better. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, so I will put in first. I would like to put a little bit perspective what we do um, uh, in the context of the activities within the European Commission and the national activities. Uh, so a brief, uh, brief summary. Um, so the quantum communication and quantum technologies received right now a lot of interest. It's simply, uh, to put it short, uh, exploitation of the quantum effects such as superposition, entanglement, uh, uh, teleportation, uh, to use in the real applications. And the um, quantum key distribution is one of the first examples of the use of the quantum communication. And since few years, there are a lot of programs, uh, both national and international, regarding the uh, quantum technologies. Uh, and I will just briefly introduce them because they are in, important in the aspect of what we do in the Jant and Enron activity. Uh, so the current program, I would say it's uh, started in 2016, so when the uh, European Commission uh, published a document, uh, it's called Quantum Manifesto, which outlined the uh, basics for the development of these technologies in the European uh, uh, Union. And these are divided into four sections, uh, so communication, simu quantum sensing, uh, quantum simulation, and quantum computing. Uh, what is important here is that they are interconnected. Yeah? So the advan advancements in one of these areas is important for the adv advancement in the other areas. Um, the next, uh, the next big um, project was the Quantum uh, Manifesto, which launched in uh, Quantum Flag. After Quantum Flag Manifesto was Quantum Flagship, which is actual realization of these goals. It's uh, running. It's since 2019. Was completed last year, and a lot of programs, a lot of uh, projects were uh, funded from this uh, initiative. Initiative And right now uh, what we do is the uh, Digital Euro program, which is running since uh, last year and will be running in 2027. And most of the quantum technologies activities are uh, covered in this program and actually what uh, the entrants do is closely related uh, to these activities. Um, so basically we have two elements. Uh, so if we look at the bottom of the slide, um, I would like to point out the EuroQCI initiative, which is Euro European Quantum Communication Infrastructure, which was uh, launched in 2019, and the goal is to build and establish in, uh, in Europe a trial uh, uh, infrastructure for these uh, purposes. And it is accompanied uh, also by Euro HPC. So within the Euro HPC, there is a program to establish quantum computers in different uh, areas. Um, uh, regarding European quantum communication, what is also interesting that the European Commission is looking both at the terrestrial and the satellite parts, uh, because uh, it's not possible right now to do long distance, very long distance links uh, using terrestrial fibers. So the quantum communication over satellites was already uh, presented a few years ago. The Chinese have very uh, good results and are leading this way. By the, but the European Space Agency is, uh, uh, is uh, leading a project to establish such elements in the European uh, Union also. Uh, so back to quantum key distribution. So basically, it's a, a way to uh, generate and uh, send the keys that can be used, for example, for uh, uh, encryption, but not necessarily. It can be used for authentication, authorization, uh, using quantum communication. Um, it, and as I mentioned, it's a first uh, real use case that can be used for quantum communication. Uh, what is important that um, it's uh, probably um, probably it is already known that NIST is working on the post quantum computing algorithm right now. Uh, these are closely to be finalized. The final um, final candidates were chosen, 
uh, and it's still heavily research area. So these algorithms are the successors for example for RSA. Uh, these use different mathematics uh, and uh, they are believed to be resistant for future quantum communication quantum computing threats. Um, and uh, regarding QQD also um, uh, this year uh, IT, last year ITU also formed a quantum internet technologies for uh, for networks focus group uh, which is also heavily working on the quantum key distribution uh, uh, activities and they they published uh, especially this year a very interesting set of documents which are believed to be a basis for future applications and 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 use cases and the standardization because we have to know that this is still developing technologies yes and uh, it, it's still under needs a lot of standardization and especially certification yeah uh, Etsy is leading uh, this way regarding standardization there is a, a planned world map uh, map for these activities um, and there is also the uh, quantum internet the research group within the IATF uh, and they publish the work on two documents at the moment architecture principles for a quantum internet and the uh, application scenarios for quantum internet of course it's beyond the quantum key distribution but in many ways it connects with the uh, with these activities um, and the Enron and Jant community activities are closely, I would say, related to the uh, right now to the QCI, um, which uh, gathers all the countries. All the countries signed um, intention to join the QCI initiative, and uh, yeah, we are as a as a community we are supporting that. And just this year, uh, European Commission launched the tenders to build the national QCI infrastructures. Uh, the projects were selected and they will start beginning of next year, uh, most probably beginning of this year. But there are still two topics that calls that will be um, announced this year uh, and they are connected with the cross-border quantum key distribution links. Yeah. Um, and now back to the uh, our activities within Jant and Endrens. So uh, within Jant we uh, have a special group which is uh, sharing the information and sharing the knowledge about these activities. We have um, uh, e-academy that we are preparing uh, uh, concepts. Uh, we have um, uh, a proof of concept for the new uh, QKD technology developed by Toshiba, Twin Field QKD. And uh, yeah, we have a strat status, uh, we have a quantum strategy group. Uh, within Jant and we discussed with our um, community how we can allow and, and, and our colleagues to share the knowledge and um, support the research because of course we need to know there is still a lot of research in this area. Uh, we organized uh, um, uh, info shares uh, for Jant within Jant activities. Uh, covering several topics uh, regarding quantum key distribution, but also um, quantum internet. Uh, and now the examples. Um, maybe I will start with uh, the TNC 2017 conference, where uh, the colleagues uh, from Jean presented a first experiment uh, with QKD equipment running in the operational network. It was a interesting use case because it used co-propagation so the quantum channel which is uh, uh, carrying the keys was uh, multiplexed with the real traffic yeah. uh, next we did uh, um, interesting uh, proof of concept regarding also post-quantum uh, uh, encryption um, so it was a hybrid solution because uh, there is a very uh, important distinction between post-quantum and quantum key distribution. Post-quantum are algorithms for encryption and QKD of course is only generation and distribution of keys that can be used for different uh, scenarios. And here we did um, a, a such a proof of concept that uh, a combination of post-quantum uh, cryptography and, and QKD that was uh, at the venue. Uh, and the next step uh, for 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 the energy community was the Open QKD project, which is um, 
a pilot for the QCI, a very important project because it's uh, based on the, its results. A European, European Commission launched the QCI uh, initiative and all the uh, elements connected with this. So uh, the European QKD project was mainly is mainly focused on the QKD testbed. So we established a lot of testbeds within the Europe. Um, uh, and especially the use cases are important. Uh, more, or, more or less, uh, we have right now, uh, considering the open calls that were under the project, around 40, uh, around 40 use cases. And as you can, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, partners. Uh, the whole, the whole, uh, all, all the Europe is present here. And we have uh, use cases from different uh, different areas, so from healthcare, finance, government, research and education, data center, and the the slide um, upper right is showing the desired, I would say, uh, scenario. So uh, QKD networks, and then uh, if, uh, if 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 the research and the progress is satisfactory, we will have the quantum networks, quantum test beds uh, that are actually right now already uh, also established. And within the QKD, Open QKD project, we did uh, also uh, the entrants were involved in this, are involved in this project, and we did a cross-border QKD connection for HPC services. So we encrypted traffic between the um, uh, HPC uh, data centers and also, at the same time, we, it was a perfect, uh, perfect moment to try to um, do a different use case and test the QKD along with the uh, reference time and frequency uh, service, which is also interesting aspect that we did we did in, in Jant Network. Um, so this was one of the uh, elements, and the next step uh, is to. Uh, also test the reference time and frequency, but with the new technology, the twin field QKD that is uh, planned to be tested uh, as an, uh, under the proof of concept uh, within Jan. Uh, what we did next also, uh, just last year, uh, we did uh, together with colleagues from ADVA, DEMO, how the, um, the quantum key distribution devices can be uh, connected in an interoperable uh, environment. Um, so they can use a common uh, interface and, and and distribute the keys in a given uh, in a given scenario according to the key management system, and also uh, this year we did a demo machine learning based optical on QKD network monitoring. So the system was gathering data also from the QKD network uh, links. Uh, so these are activities uh, together with colleagues um, uh, in Adva. And there is also um, a Q Capital project, which is uh, focused uh, not only on QKD but in general quantum communication, and um, it's a it's a infrastructure that helps to uh, conduct the tests and 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 baseline for the next next research. Yeah, it's also where the especially colleagues from uh, uh, from from the countries where the infrastructure is established take part in. Um, but also our colleagues in the Netherlands from SURF are very, uh, very advanced uh, in, in, in these activities. They are working not only on the quantum T distribution, but also uh, in the ultimate goal, so the quantum internet. Uh, they, they organized uh, together with, uh, with the partners in the Netherlands. InfoShares, there is a... Um, uh, a platform which is called Quantum Network, Network Explorer, which is uh, dedicated to tests for the uh, quantum uh, networking. And also, uh, also what we did this year uh, um, within the PSNC at the moment, so under national project, we launched a 380 kilometer uh, QKD link between uh, Poznan and Warsaw. Uh, of course, it's a trusted node, so there are six, uh, six intermediate um, uh, nodes uh, because we cannot cover uh, the whole span within the one systems. And together with that, we have a city system, a metro, a metro QKD system that is uh, purely um, dedicated to activities connected with the uh, uh, metro services. 
Um, so, so the Enrens and 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 our our group in Jant is is involved in um, communicating with different groups, spreading the knowledge that we have, and um, and also it's it's uh, we have to remember that each country, uh, especially those may may the main big countries in Europe. They have very large national projects connected with the quantum technologies, and they are of they are of course uh, in some way related to the uh, QCI, but uh, but they are also in many areas independent. And so the entrants are in an environment that they work together within the QCI and also within the national projects. Uh, so this is also a very interesting aspect uh, of these activities. Um, uh, so, uh, as a summary, I wanted to give an overview of the uh, of the activities within the Endrens and and Jant. Um, uh, we have a, a, we have a collaboration with uh, QQD uh, vendors, uh, but also vendors that are interested in implementing the uh, QQD technology in the, in devices such as Adva and and also uh, Arista. Um, and now the main activity for our community will be uh, QCI. Uh, it's a large project uh, uh, starting next year. Enrens, um, some of the Enrens are directly involved in the QCI, but some of them are not direct, are indirectly involved. And this will be also a challenge uh, because each QCI proposal, national QCI proposal, is a little bit different and. It will require some coordination between the activities, um, and for the QQD, uh, just um, uh, 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 maybe a comment from my side. Uh, a very interesting uh, aspect is also hollow core fiber. Uh, it's particularly interested for the QQD system, and uh, we have a talk today uh, with from Mr. Bennett regarding the hollow core fiber. So I really encourage to have a look because it's really interesting for quantum communication, the holocore fibers. Um, yeah, so um, uh, that's all from my side, so uh, happy to quiet, to take any questions. All right, thanks you. thank you, Peter. So do we have any questions in the room? Any, qu and any questions online? And I'll just wait a minute because there's a bit of a delay for the online. Yeah. So I'll just wait a minute to give them a chance to, to come up with questions. I have a question, perhaps while we're waiting. Um, well, first of all, thank you. I found it really interesting. And I hope you come back and tell us some progress in like a few years, what's, what's happening. Yeah. Um, I have a real layman's question to ask. I'm going to show my how little I know now about this. Um, with, with new technologies, so like this, there's a lot of work that you show going on regarding standardization and working bodies and working groups and collaboration. Does there exist much resistance from a regulatory perspective, or is this a technology that is progressing with very little regulatory resistance? Um, I would say um, the, the main problem, I would say, is the certification, because we uh, a lot of agencies are interested in standardization algorithms and here we have to go all the way down and standardize the equipment okay. yeah so it's really a challenge and it will take few years uh, if not more and we'll see how the uh, the technology will evolve and within the open QKD project uh, different uh, vendors also developed the next generation systems uh, that have much further link further link for example uh, even 600 the Toshiba uh, Toshiba Labs from, 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 from Cambridge already presented a paper in, in, in this year with theoretical reach of twin field up to 600 kilometers. But it uses very interesting approach using quantum entanglement. So there is uh, a node in between. We have three nodes. Alice, Bob, and Charlie, which is uh, in the middle. And yeah, so um, yeah, very interesting and and, and, and Fascinating to see uh, how the <laughs> those effects will be used in the real networks. Yeah, it's 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 challenge, and but we need to remember that it will take some years. Okay. But as you can see, a lot of activities are going. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Um, one more check. Any questions in the room or online? No. no? Okay. Then thank you very much, Peter. It was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Um,